All right. Well, thanks everybody for coming. My name is Glenn Dobbs. I'm the president and founder of Logan Tech. We are a manufacturer of assistive technology products for people who are challenged with being unable to speak. Uh, we also manufacture braille learning and uh, braille label printing tools. Um, I've been asked to do this to uh, talk about my story and a little bit about myself. I'm, a, I'm an engineer. I have actually a degree in, in physics. I used to build and race electric vehicles and um, worked as an engineer in the electronic access control technology field. So uh, many of you might be wondering why am I in the world of assistive technology? And so the, the main reason is that I have a son with severe autism who's nonverbal and he used a, uh, a system called PEX, which is picture exchange communication uh, uh, in order to communicate. And uh, I wanted him to have a, a technological voice, a voice output system. And he had a, uh, an assessment and they determined that he was unable to um, use any of the technology that was in the, you know, in the field at the time. Uh, it was either too complicated for him, uh, too delicate, he would break it, uh, such as a computerized device with um, an application on it, now known as an iPad, um, or these static display devices that had a grid of pictures that would um, talk when you pressed a button. Um, they were a little too simple. And the book he was using had movable pictures with flippable pages, and he was able to use that with no problem. Uh, so we invented a product called the Prox Talker, which is this product here. And so this thing can be flipped over and turned into a backpack. It has an array of pictures and pages here, and it can make it say things. So it's very easy to say I want what you want to do. To go. So it drive to the beach. Wouldn't we all like to go for a drive to the beach right about now? It is finally summer. I'm not sure where you live, but the weather is breaking here, and it's really nice. So another thing you can do is program this thing to say whatever you want. So this says apple juice here. Apple juice. Apple juice. Wherever I put it, it says apple juice. And if I want to program it to say something else, I can use these programming tags here. Press card to be recorded. Press and hold the target. Pass the tone to get recording your sound. A pomegranate martini with a twist of lime. Please wait. I think it only recorded part of that. A pomegranate martini with a twist of lime. Let's try that again. Press card to be recorded. Pass the tone to get recording your sound. A pomegranate martini with a twist of lime. Please wait. I want to eat. Oops, can't eat. I want to drink a pomegranate martini with a twist of lime. See, that's how you do it. Um, and if, if you put this over here and upside down and backwards, if you've had too many pomegranate martinis, it'll still work. A pomegranate martini with a twist of lime. And if I want to erase it, press card to be reset. Custom sound erased. Apple juice. It goes back to apple juice. So they're reusable tags. These are RFID tags and you can record and reuse them as many times as you'd like. You can make them say anything that you want and the pictures are completely customizable. And we actually have an app called the Prox Talker app for customizing. So this product is used for people like my son. He had it for four and a half years and he was eventually able to graduate from using this to move on to using a dynamic screen. Uh, he was using a touch chat, um, excuse me, an alt chat by a company called Saltillo, and now he's using the touch chat app on an iPad by Saltillo. Uh, he did continue to use the Prox Talker in some educational settings, um, and many kids use these for learning their numbers, learning letters and sentence structures, and so forth. So they're used both as a uh, augmentative communication system as well as for a learning tool in special ed classrooms. So. Um, Many kids with autism use this. We've also had some success with people with aphasia post-stroke. Um, some people with cerebral palsy who are able to use their hands or one hand um, and, and various other um, uh, syndromes and conditions that render a person nonverbal and in need of something a little simpler than a, a tablet device, a little more robust. Um, my son actually uh, tried to destroy uh, the Prox Talker a number of times. We did some testing, we ran it over with a truck, which you can watch on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. Um, this here is the, the Prox Pad, 
Um, this is for uh, people who don't have good thumb and forefinger controls. Um, you can um, program it to say whatever you want. So if I want this to say Bert, press R to be recording. I put Bert down here. Down the phone, get recording your sound. Hi, my name is Bert. Please wait. So Bert actually has a card in him, and I can make him talk. Hi, my name is Bert. If I put it in proximity mode, it'll talk from a distance. Hi, my name is Bert. Which allows me to even put it under a table. Hi, my name is Bert. And we'll also use the other tags. Apple juice. So it'll still use all the other tags. So both of these devices can hold thousands of different words. Um, they have different uses. Um, and, and so it depends on what you're doing as to which one uh, would work for, for a person. So. Interestingly, we, we developed the Prox Talker for my son Logan, who has autism, but we had some therapists that were starting to use um, the Prox Talker with tactile symbols. So we actually have um, tactile symbols here that, that have, um, these are for kids that can't see and can't talk. And so you have a, a, a three-dimensional indication here, which you can kind of see there. This round part indicates that it's a noun this shape indicates that it's a rocking chair. And then it has a verbally spelled out rocking chair for usually for the teacher. And then in Braille, there's rocking chair also. And this should say rocking chair. That hasn't been programmed to that device. So I'll record. Press card. Got the tone. Begin recording your sound. Rocking chair. Please wait. Rocking chair. And so um, that's how that works. So I, I can also make, we have these uh, tangible object communication Bus. cards that will work Bus. as well. And these are for kids that um, have a hard time um, generalizing between an object and a picture. Some people like my son actually uh, had a challenge. They didn't interpret the flat picture as having any significant meaning. They needed a three-dimensional object. So this sy system does the job of uh, helping people to generalize between an object and a picture. So, uh, and it also talks. A lot of times people use this type of an approach with no technology, but our technology allows to take this kind of an approach and make it speak aut autonomously so that the people can learn things and teach themselves and communicate. It's a pretty neat system. Now I had mentioned the prox pad for people with uh, cerebral palsy having a hard time, um, you know, with their thumb and forefinger. Uh, and, and this type of system is a really good system, um, but it has limitations insofar as there's only so many tags you can have and so much language available. Uh, there's a lot uh, more language available in a smaller package if you use a tablet device. And for some people who are, who are cognitively capable of using that, uh, that would be a desirable system over the prox talker or the prox pad. So it really depends on where you are in your communication journey. Uh, so the problem is that some of the tablet devices have, um, they have a touch screen and some of the people who, who have the cognitive capability to, to use that uh, may have some motoric challenges that prevent their fingers from being able to hit the target correctly. So we have here, um, customized um, key guards that are for the purpose of guiding people's fingers to be in, in the right situation, in the right place. So they can actually use these as a guide to, I don't know if you can see that clearly on the screen, maybe against here it's easier. So you can actually touch the right words that you're trying to say using these. So these are the beyond adaptive key guards and we'll also have wheelchair mounts and so on and so forth. Um, another product we developed is the Braille coach, which is for learning and practicing Braille. So we have Braille embossed cards that, that get played on here. And then this is the, the six dot Braille label maker. And if you haven't seen a Braille keyboard before, this is a Braille keyboard. Each one of these buttons represents one of the dots in a Braille cell and blinds people who type or people who type Braille uh, use this type of a keyboard to type. And when you type it in, a, a label will come out like this one. Um, and, and you can see the, the raised emboss dots on there. And um, the embossing tape is, is in here. And there are a, a, a bunch of pins that, that, that print it. If you don't know Braille, 
you can plug a QWERTY keyboard in here and the QWERTY keyboard will allow you to type and then Braille will come out. So that's the six dot Braille label maker. And it's interesting because all of these different tools uh, were a result ultimately of my son having autism and, and we got into this and as a company we started listening to our customers we wound up with uh, a, a collection of very interesting unique uh, pieces of technology that serve very specific purposes for people that need them so uh, we welcome your your visit to our website uh, we welcome any any input or questions you may have uh, you can reach us at info at logantech.com that's l-o-g-a-n-t-e-c-h Dot com. Our, our telephone number is 203-721-6074. We're on Facebook. Uh, we're on Twitter. Um, and uh, I think we're you know, in all those types of things that I don't do a lot of. So look on our website to find our social media links. And I think there's a couple of questions, I think. Let me see what we have here. Okay, I have a question. How can someone buy your products? Well, we do have a web store. Um, so almost everything we have, um, and we have some other items on there as well that, that we distribute and all the accessories are available on our um, web store. Uh, we also do accept purchase orders um, from schools or other institutions. So that's also a possibility. We can get you a quote. Um, if you need a quote to get approval and so forth uh, in order to place a PO, we, we do the traditional school purchase types of things. And if you need assistance with your order um, over the phone, we can also do that. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, we have people here eight to five, Monday through Friday, Eastern time. I hope that answered that question. And another question, um, what age did your son begin using the Prox Soccer? Oh, that's a good question. Um, it's sort of tragic uh, because we, we conceived of it when he was about five years old. We thought of the idea. Um, he didn't get his first prox talker till he was 11. So it took us quite a while to, to get from the idea to the uh, working unit, um, but it was wonderful when we did. And uh, thank you for asking that. Um, have schools incorporated these great tools into their programs? Uh, yes, they have. Um, in fact, we are all over the country in many school systems, um, including uh, Miami-Dade, uh, Jacksonville, Florida, that's Duval County. Uh, New York City is, is, a, is a great customer of ours. Uh, we're also all over England and uh, some places in the Middle East and Australia. Uh, so we have a, a global reach and um, they use, in New York in particular, they use them as a programmatic tool. Um, they're used to teach uh, kids some math concepts, some, some uh, reading concepts. And in fact, New York City had us make the uh, District 75 educational sound tag set, which includes the upper and lower case letters and the numbers zero through 20, and the New York City give me 20 vocabulary set. So good question. Um, yes, they're used as, it's, as I mentioned, as not only as an AAC system, but also as a teaching tool. Um, okay. Any, oh, do we do training? Someone ask, is asking that. Yes, um, we offer free training. Um, and if you are, um, if we are, we do travel around the nation and in some cases the world. Um, and uh, if we're in your area, we're happy to come by. In some cases, we'll arrange a trip. Um, we always do Skype training. If you wanted to uh, get a hold of the device and borrow it, uh, we are happy to send you a device to try out. Um, and then we'll do training over Skype or, or the phone to get you, uh, get you up and running. Um, in, okay, insurance, sure. It says, uh, this has been amazing. What insurance help people purchase in these cases. Sure, absolutely. Well, the Prox Talker and the Prox Pad um, are E2506, which is a code, it's called a hip pick code, and that is a, a mandative communication device with a certain amount of recorded um, digital time. And we fall into that category and uh, many states will be able to uh, help with Medicaid funding. Uh, we can put you in touch with some of our um, companies we partner with to do the, the actual funding of the devices. Um, and we've also been successful processing uh, standard medical insurance claims like Blue Cross and Blue Shield. We have another 
partner company that we work with to do that. So if that's the route that you want to take, um, that is often doable. Uh, many school systems will buy them if it's an IEP required uh, device and also um, different social organizations like the Lions Clubs and the Masons have also placed purchases, uh, made purchases on behalf of some of the people in their communities. Um, the six dot products are a little bit different insofar as they don't qualify as a, as a medical device as the augmented communication devices um, qualify, but there are different funding sources uh, for people with visual impairments and sometimes those funding sources will come through for you. Um, hope that answers the question. Um, if you need anything more specific, feel free um, to call us. Great. Well, um, if anybody has any more questions, they are, feel free to um, give us a call, uh, send us an email, uh, a tweet, or contact us on Facebook. Um, personally, email works best for me, and you can reach me personally at info at logantech.com. And I look forward to future broadcasts. Um, and uh, Stay in touch. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.